Hello, welcome to this quick tutorial on how to program a TalkPod N55. It's a radio, a POC radio uh, that is used on uh, networks like PTT4U.com. This is a PTT over cellular network uh, radio device. The TalkPod N55 um, has the same procedure uh, to be programmed as the TalkPod N50. The difference of the N50 is that it doesn't have a display like this one. Um, and the TalkPod N40 and 45 are the same, but without uh, the same size. They are a little bit smaller, okay? Uh, but the procedure is the same. You just have to use the right uh, software to do it, okay? But uh, it's absolutely the same uh, user interface. All radios have these two programmable buttons here on the side and the PTT uh, button here, okay? This is to, to connect to a speaker microphone or a, ear, um, a headset as well, okay? and is exactly the same place used where you connect the plug of your programming cable. Programming cable is just a USB um, serial uh, to serial uh, converter, but it, you don't have to worry much about it because whenever you, you purchase a TalkPod uh, N5 series, you will get the cable uh, together with your package, okay? Once you have the cable connected and the computer with the software running and it can be it has to be a Windows computer uh, running XP 7 or uh, 8 or 10. This this one is running Windows 10. Okay, um, you have to set up the port, the serial port is COM5. Okay, it's the only one available, so there's much um, you, you cannot make any mistake because there's only one port that can be selected. I click here. Uh, okay. And now I want to start the radio in programming mode. I push the PTT button here, switch it on. It says program mode, so it's ready to, to be programmed. I'm going to read first because I want to see what's inside. I click here on start and then it reads all the parameters from the radio. Uh, what is important here to be uh, set up? Basically the username and password so this is something you have to set and you will receive an email uh, when you purchase a subscription from ptt4u.com with your unique username and password. You have to set up the APN. This is uh, different from operator to operator. I'm talking about cell phone operators. So basically you have to make a Google search and check what's the APN uh, of your cell phone operator. In case of doubt, you just uh, drop us a message and we'll be happy to tell you which APN uh, settings you should use. Here in the URL, you choose the nearest server uh, for your physical location. In this case, I'm using United States, but I have some other uh, servers in Europe as well. And it works uh, pretty much uh, well the, this way. And then you, have, uh, you can check the language, you can decide if this user is going to have the keyboard locked. Um, you have uh, settings for the for the backlight. Uh, you can also uh, decide if, how many how many times per minute you want the GPS to to uh, send the location and the maximum allowed allowed time for transmission and it's set to sixty seconds. And you can uh, check if you want GPS on or off, so you can trace. Uh, the location of this uh, particular unit. Okay, I'm not going to change anything of the settings right now. I just want to program these settings back to the radio. And here I am. All right, so the radio has been programmed. I switch it off. I disconnect the cable. Oh, it's well connected, this plug here. And I will switch it on in normal mode. It says talk pod. And now I have to wait until it's going to be able to register. First, Welcome. first it's going to try to register in the GSM network. And once that is successful, it will try to log in to the ptt4u.com service uh, because I have purchased a subscription uh, for this uh, service. After a programming, it will always reset one, uh, one time like it just did, okay? Welcome. So this is normal procedure. Um, and now I will just wait until it registers 
in the PTT4U service. You will see a group here named PTT4U, but obviously here what you will see is your own group. So it's a private channel. No one else is able to um, check uh, on your communications. Duart Help Desk is my user uh, name and PTT4U is my group name. So all members from this group are able now to listen to my communication. Okay, and to make uh, this uh, quick test, I have here on the sides another TalkPod radio. This is a N58, which is a little bit different from, from the N55 because this one is an Android device, okay? So it can run other apps at the same time. Any Android app can run here. Okay, but this one is already registered to the PTT4U uh, network. Okay, and now I'm just going to transmit here with my N55. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. As you can see, I can immediately t listen to the other radio. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, one. And these uh, are using the GSM network. Uh, this radio here. The, the N58 can be used uh, with Wi-Fi as well, okay? Because this is an Android radio. But the N55 can only run using 3G uh, networks, okay? So this was uh, just uh, a quick video on how to program the radio. As you see, there's nothing complicated about it. And uh, feel free, free to ask any questions if you have. Thank you very much for watching.